Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is special function register in 8051. The 8051 is the flexible microcontroller with a relatively large number of modes of operation. The program may be inspected or the operating modes of 8051 can be changed by manipulating the values of 8051 special function register. The 8051 operations that do not use internal 128-byte RAM address from 0027FH are done by the group of specific internal registers and those internal registers are nothing but the special function register. So 8051 has a 128-byte of RAM which ranges from 0027FH. And to access this internal RAM, 8 bits are used. But using 8 bits, so you can access up to 250, 256 locations. But then what about other 128 locations? So SFR are accessed as if they are normal internal RAM. The only difference is that internal RAM is from address 0027 f whereas SFR register exists in the address range of 802FFH. So each and every SFR has an address in this range and those SFR are placed above 128 byte of internal RAM. Some of the SFR are bit addressable as if uh, the every bit of those SFR can, can be individually accessed. And this feature allows the programmer to change only what need to be changed or altered, leaving the remaining bits in that SFR unchanged. So there are total 21 SFR in 8051. And those SFR usually consist of important registers like accumulator, B register, interrupt control register, PSW, timer counter, power control, 4, IO ports, serial control. So some of these registers are bit addressable and the remaining are byte addressable. So this is the structure of the spatial function register as you can see. So not every location in this upper 128 byte can be used for the SFR register. The random locations are used for SFR. Even though uh, SFR is placed above the internal RAM, which is not the part of the internal RAM, but the SFR can be accessed the way we can access internal RAM, but still it is not a part of the internal RAM. So SFR is a metaphor combinations of different registers as we discussed. Not every location in SFR is used. Some random locations are used as an SFR and other remaining locations are remain unused. So SFR register is always accessed by using this address. Like one example P0 is having SFR address 80, P1 is having SFR address 90, P2 is A0, P3 is B0. So directly placing that address in your instructions, you can access the SFR register. For an example, move a comma 88h so 88h is nothing but a p con register 87 is nothing but a p con so content of p con is directly copied into accumulator the sum of these s far registers are not a bit addressable and others are bit addressable registers like uh, th1 th0 tl1 tl0 are not a bit addressable register you cannot access the single bit of those registers. If you want to access those registers, the whole register, the byte of register can be accessed. 
for port addresses let's take an example p0 is having sfr address 80 which is the byte address for the port 0 and we know in 8051 instructions there are two types of instructions byte instruction and bit instruction p0 is also a bit address so address for each and every location is given over here but there is again confusion ambiguity the first bit of port 0 is having address 80 and the byte address for port 0 is 80 so what's the difference in it by default sfr address for port 0 or any other port like p1 p2 p3 is given here which is 80 90 a0 p0 respectively which is the byte address so by using this instruction whole port can be accessed and the data which is present on port can be copied into accumulator if you want to access whole port you can use byte instruction suppose if you want to change alter single bit of port any port in that case you need to use bit instructions likewise set b clear so even though i have placed this address 80 it's not going to access whole port because it is used with the bit instructions it will perform only on single bit so even though the, this address and this address is same this a 80 is pointing to first bit of port 0 so this 80 and uh, 80 which is written in this instruction the meaning of this number is not same this 80 indicates the whole port and the data on the whole port will be copied into accumulator whereas it is this instruction set b80 instruction is setting up the first bit of port 0 to 1 likewise you can set or clear any bit of any bit addressable sfr just by specifying the address of that particular bit location so this is all about sfr if you really like the video do subscribe my channel and hit the bell button